Oh, look at that. I broke it. Did you? No, I broke the seam. Like, that's oh, what yeah. You want. No, that's what you want. You want it to separate. But uh, nice now, little see, setup. Didn't take long to do. The problem is, is all the work is in the, the bottom, the underlay. Where people can't see it. Well, no, not only that, but that's where the work is. That's where it's hard. The, the heavy work. Hello, so everyone, and welcome back uh, to uh, What Tools Inside. Uh, this is Josh, and I'm Matt. And uh, we are here today to talk to you about... About framing. Not at all about framing. I don't know where you get that from, but that's well, what you're dressed up for. Uh, so we're not talking framing, are we? No, maybe we should just change. Maybe if you're framing the molds, like if you're doing sidewalks and stuff... He said frame. Stuff, I mean, you must have meant this. No, it's a different kind of frame. Very clever. He planned that whole thing out. I didn't. It all came to me at the last minute when you said framing. Um, but yeah, we're actually going to talk about, do, about doing a mold with concrete. It's a very it's simple exciting. process. It seems complicated, but it's not. And uh, anybody can do it. You can do it at home. You can do it for your jobs and actually turn out much better jobs. Uh, you can actually save money by making your own molds as opposed to buying uh, pre-made uh, setups like this. And we're going to show you all how to do all that right here, right now, on What Tools Inside. Let's as get started. As soon as Josh gets done jamming this, everything onto one here. screw. I don't, know where, like, I don't remember where I got this. Right here. There you go. All right, now, bust it. now we've already done one. We've already assembled one, uh, poured the concrete mat, so because we wanted to make sure we had the right consistencies and all this other uh, stuff. And now, as you can so see... So basically, from a, a bag of concrete, we, got to, we have a Sacri fast-setting concrete here right now because we wanted to have fast-setting for the show. You don't necessarily need that. Um, it might be even harder for you if you're, if you're not really you know, good with concrete. Uh, just regular Sacri would be fine. Right. Now, the one thing I will say is... Uh, I recommend, and you'll see this, is get one that has its finer grit, finer sand. Because uh, it's a little bit harder to work with when you have a... Yeah, but it's more expensive when you do that. All right, save yourself some time. Save yourself some money and just buy this kind of stuff, is what I decided. So it's really nice. You just pour the concrete in there, you level it up with your gloves. So this is a, this is a mold. Uh, what does this cost us? Like uh, 13 bucks. It's like 13 bucks on Amazon. On Amazon. It's all going to cost you to get one of these molds, okay? Um, and you can get multiple ones, so you can do several at once and then that way you're you know you're, you're right them so you do that exactly process. so you, you get your uh, your uh, your wheelbarrow and you dump it in dump 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 you got somebody else yeah wiping it down because all you need literally all you need for this job uh not talking about the mixing the concrete right now is the hammer a trowel of some sort probably a concrete trowel would be better in fact i'm going to switch this out to get a little bit of a harder trowel and gloves and then you're off to the race. And you're off to the race. So with this particular mold, you can do these kind of patterns here. Why don't you show them that in the, in the camera? All, All sorts of things you can do, right? Here. So look, so the one we're demonstrating today is model A, which is 43 centimeters by 35 centimeters. No, oh, I don't know, or squared. Yeah, uh, that's, about, that's about right. Right, and then you, see, you can get bigger ones. You can get oversized ones. You can get all sorts of different kinds that meet, you know, maybe you're doing a hedge like this one here, a flower garden. And so you can do a mold like that so that it wraps around your garden. You can do it all. And we're going to show you how. Right. Oh, that's the other thing. Let's say you have a big concrete pad, right? It's already poured in your backyard. Well, you're not going to really do much after that. But you want to decorate it. Well, get something like this and then spray paint a pattern using that. You flip it upside yeah, down. Yeah, you use like a stencil. And you use it, Exactly. And it's a stencil and you end up with something nice like that uh, terracotta look. So that's nice. I mean, there's all sorts of other things you can do, and, and it's 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 easy enough, and it's and it's enjoyable because you have a, a sense of satisfaction after you after you get it job. finished. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. We'll start with that. But here here's what it'll look like when it comes out. Literally individual chunks of concrete here. Yeah. Why don't you show them there? That big piece. Individual chunks. And then what can happen is See, it's just a concrete. You just we poured this just recently. Yeah. Um, then what will happen is you can literally just space these out a bit, right? Like that, Josh, Dep Yeah, want? depending on the design you want. Like, you wouldn't, spe you wouldn't space it out at all if all you wanted to do is put sand in there. Yeah. And then and, and settle it. But, like, for, for someone, I'm going to do this in my backyard. What I want to do is, uh, is spread this out, even, maybe even a little more, and put uh, some earth in there and some grass seed. And then I'll, I'll you just take your mower over top of that. Yeah, and then, and then once you set them in nice and flat, you can cut right over top of them, right? And then, so and it kind of, there's a, see, like this one here. See, you put seeds in, you see? Can you see that? It looks really pretty. All right. 
But let's get to it. Let's actually make a batch for them to show them how it's done. Now, the mix, the consistency that you want is kind of like peanut butter. Right. Right. You don't want it to be um, too soupy because then it's going to pour all out of your mold and make a real mess. And you don't want it to be too thick because you've got to put it in. And you, and you do it, actually, you set it like this. Now, um, we're, we're just doing it on cardboard, so it doesn't really matter for us. But it's important to prepare uh, the substrate, whatever it is that you're going to be using to make these molds out of. So if you're going to just be taking, lifting these off like that afterwards, then you want to have plastic ready to go so you can just put your new mold on top of it and have it ready. Let me get this from you. See, that, that's why I did it so that you could... Uh, now I'm going to put my gloves back on because always wear gloves when you're working with concrete. So just like that, and now when that, once that hardens up, you can see how easy it was to just pull off, right? Although if you're doing it right in the ground, well then you're putting this then you have your uh, your your uh, sub what do you call that the the, the um, substrate substrate, and uh, you're putting it right on sand. <clears throat> now let me give you guys a little tip here, okay? Just a little something. I, I'm not Josh and I are both. Um, I would say we're frugal men. We try to do things as cheaply as we can. As cheaply as we can, okay? And that's why we're we're here right now. Show you guys how cheap we can make this. To buy this as a paver, you're going to pay about four bucks, okay, for one of these. It's a give, paper. Give or take, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe even a bit more, but about four bucks uh, to have one of these. And that's a full form paper. It's going to look like a cheap paper pattern when you put it up there because you don't have any of these spaces in between. Right? To buy these individually, I don't even know if you can. Well, maybe not that But small, if you were to buy the regular smaller blo blocks, you know, you're, those are two bucks a piece. Yeah, right, right. And this, you can make two to three out of a bag of concrete. And one bag of concrete is four bucks. So you can see how much the value is in doing it this way. And what's nice is, is, which we don't have it here, I thought we did somewhere, but, but is coloring for the concrete. So you can have different colors. So this can be orange, this can be, you know, or you have it however you want to do it. You just have a little bit of a different decoration in there. Right. Okay, so, so what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to mix up a batch. Um, we're going to use, you need to have a good mixing drill if you're going to do this by hand. Or if you have a wheelbarrow and you have a shovel, you can do it in there. But we're just going to use uh, this DeWalt, uh, this is the 5 amp uh, hour 20 volt drill. Um, cordless, very powerful. Just got a piece of junk glue in my eye there, but oh, speaking of that, we need glasses, Matt. Yeah, there you are. Oops, always be careful. Now, uh, while we're doing while we're doing a little bit of the mixing here, why don't you guys take a look and see how this one came out? Uh, and ju just a moment ago, when we were doing it, when we were doing it, and then when, and while you're doing that, Matt and I are going to mix up a little batch, and we'll be right back. All right, give me this here. There you are. Thank you. I'll pour the water in for you. Yeah. So you can see in that program. Oh, we got the water up here, but that's good. Oh, I see. Let me put this in. It's a relatively simple process to do. It doesn't take much work. Oh, hold that. Guy. Can you hold that? I can. Now this drill. This drill that we're using is actually really nice. Because it because when you put it down to the um, I got it down to the number one setting, so it's got some real torque in it, and it's going to be able to it's going to be able to mix this without a problem. You wanna you wanna I'll do mix the, it? You gonna do the mixing? Yeah. You're sure of it now? I know I can do it. All right, start mixing. Try to do it with the least amount of dust in here. I'll do that part. about enough? I think so. I think that's what you want. All right. So hopefully we got enough there and if not we'll have to get some more but this is what we mixed up just now. An old bucket mixed up some of that concrete. We may need a little more but I, I, we'll see. Yeah. Now now you're able to just pour it. Like that. You get the rest of that out in there? Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Matt's got gloves, but he doesn't plan at all getting his hands dirty. Oh, look yeah. at this. 
Now his little fingers. Get in there. Yeah, you want to put it in for the molds? Oh, we might be a little shy here, Doc. I don't know. Oh, it's pretty close, eh? I think it's not. I think you're good, yeah. It's almost perfect. Wow. There's a bit more right. out of the bucket right here. I can get another handful. Oh! <laughs> it's breaking buckets and a mess. Oh, yeah, look at this. That's perfect. Right? Yeah. So this doesn't take much to do. You want to put that in there? Now, you got to just kind of give it a little little vibration here. Now, make why sure is that important, right? What happens when you get all the something? air bubbles out, settles the concrete good, and it rises that cream to the top. So we're a little shy right here, right? Eh? That's what you come to see. We got to rinse that. Is, well, want to rinse that bucket out a bit if we can. Now remember, this is um, this is fast drying concrete. There's yeah, and so the, I mean, this is going to harden. That kid's going to chemically harden pretty quickly. A little bit of a different, con a different uh, um, texture, or, or is okay. And so you can do this here. You can make sure that it's. See, like some of them are a little bit. There, yeah, that's what you want there. Make sure you got a nice little, make sure it's in there real good. Now we're being extra cautious because of our, uh, our set and our clothes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, a little water on it didn't hurt anybody. All right. All right. So now what you end up with is something like this. Is that hardened? So now in just a minute or two, we're going to take this off and show you how to use the sponge um, to soften the edges because yeah. you're going to have a couple of hard edges that you want to work in and and get so you get you get yourself a pattern yeah so this is fast setting concrete from sacrete uh, sets up in 30 minutes so this is the kind of stuff you would use for like a post hole you set your post in there and you pour this around it and you get it all level just right and it's going to start setting up really quickly nowadays you use foam you ever see those yeah, they got Those that spray cool. foam. That's really good stuff, That's too. That's cool. On, on posts, anyways. Yeah. Just it fills, fills right up. But you can, you will even start to see that it's setting up a bit already. As fast as we put that in there, it didn't take long. You may need the hammer. Just a, and, it's, a uh, and it's setting up pretty nicely. See how it comes away from the edges a little bit when you do this. Yeah. And then once you, once you feel like, okay, it's, it's kind of set, you want to pull that mold away. You want to do that because the, the, the longer you let it sit there, the harder it'll be for it to come up, come off. It'll get bonding. It'll start to stick right through right through the mold. So you got to be you be kind of you got to kind of play it out a little bit. So remember what we're doing here today. Let's take my gloves off here so I can show you. Is uh, building concrete for those who are just joining us. We're making these forms, concrete concrete uh, pavers. Right, and so it looks like this. So this is the, the form that we got. We have the Model A that we're using. And, and you're able to do borders and pathways and markers. And, and you can do it at home yourself. There's simple instructions that tell you what to do uh, to set up the, 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 the ground. And, uh, and then I think that that's almost ready to come up. Not quite, think? Josh. Not think quite. So? No, I, I think we've got to look. Well, maybe get faster bit. drying concrete next time. Oh, no, it's okay. There's no rush. There's no rush. Concrete is really great to work with because you can do all kinds of stuff with it, right? right. Around your backyard, you can add, um, um, like when you're building like fire, little fire pits or things like that, or just even just a, a general area to maybe lay out some, some uh, lawn chairs or things like that. You can make this kind of stuff yourself by getting a few bags of, of concrete uh, shipped to you and uh, mold like this. An afternoon, a Saturday afternoon, you make yourself a beautiful little area. And then within a couple of weeks, the grass is all growing around it and in between it, and it makes just a beautiful, smooth uh, patio. And it didn't, it didn't require you to go out and get a, a contractor or anybody else, so you can actually do it right at home. If you are a contractor, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of the jobs that you're doing right now, instead of just doing a very plain and simple sidewalk or even a curved yeah. sidewalk or whatever, you can add dimension to it. You can save a lot of money on your, on your jobs by making these molds right. yourself, so, having a system like this. And remember that this... You're able to do a lot of different things with this. It's not just a simple square. So you're able to round everything you're, by puzzle piecing it. They even give you instruction on how to do that. 
So let's say you want to make it a um, kind of an oval shape, right? Well, there's ways to do that. So you can have your circular area. You take off certain bricks and you put the bricks together and you take off these the outside corners and you have a circle. That's pretty neat. Yeah. All right, Josh, I think we're ready to start uh, taking this off. Let me get my gloves back on here. Yeah, get your gloves on and then we'll, and we'll give this a little tap roo. And you basically want to lift this evenly, give it a little tap so it separates slightly from one from the other, but not too much so that it collapses. You know, it's kind of like you're making these sandcastle little things like, like as a kid on the beach. You'll never be a doctor. No. Take me too long to get my gloves on. Yeah, look at this. By the time I get my gloves on, the patient's dead. Oh, <laughs> this is graphic. I don't know, it's just the way it is. Yeah. You're yeah. gonna this this concrete's gonna set up by the time you have your gloves on. Don't worry about that. You got time. You, you got go. you got slow setting concrete. You pull up that uh, you pull up that corner right there. And let's start uh, that. And voila. So there you go. So now you would take your sponge, you get it a little wet, and you just give that a little, get those corners and those edges. So you don't want it to look like it came out of a mold, right? And that's what those little edges will do. And this is it, just like that. And as you can see in our previous uh, recording, if you, we'll, we'll switch over to that so you can see maybe an up close view. You can see how we uh, did exactly the same, exactly the same process. In fact, this is a little, little nicer. This is nicer than our first one. Our first go. But that's what happens. You get better as you go. Yeah. Let's clean this off a little bit here, man. Yeah, here you go ahead. Yeah, I need that though. Oh, I yeah, maybe not. Your gloves, eh? I guess. Let me just take this away from you. It's those edges you want to take, uh, you got to get the lines off of where, where they connected. Otherwise, it'll look like you bought it at a store. You don't want that. I know. You go through all the, all the hard work of doing something like this, you want it to be something that you did. And now I'm wrenching this off because, you know, it's time in between. But if you're moving on right to your next... You could really, move, you could really do a, a, a a quite a bit, these, yeah. you know, in a day. Yeah, for sure. You, you would you would get a whole job done, especially if you had a couple of these, like three of them. Yeah, you just you got it set up. You got a piece of plywood set up, and you got your plastic on it. And, and you off just you make go. your molds. You're working at a, a height like this, sort of down over, bent over on your back. No, I'm saying you put it. You put it right. You don't. Why would you move it? Put it mean? right there on the floor. Pour it there on the floor. I wouldn't do that because you're working on it the whole time. You're right, you're you're bent over. Your no, back. no. But bent now over. you're bending over twice, three, four times before that. Yeah. Now here's something that I, I like to do just to be sure. I go right in the middle of this here. And just make sure it's clean all the way down to the bottom. See that? Mistake. Why was it a mistake? That's not. I just like to make sure I don't have any kind of surprises when I go to pull these apart. That's just me. But that's if you're pulling them apart. Again, um, if you're not pulling them apart, then all you do on the floor is you start with this one here. You flip it, you put this beside it like that, yeah, and, and pour you pour it one. in, and then lift it up, and do your next one, in and fact, then your next one. Let's go ahead and make our next one right now, Josh. Let's do one more like that. How's that sound? I like it. Now over here, I'm going to do, while this is setting up here, I'm going to set this like this. I'm going to build this. I'm going to build that one to show yeah. how that pattern goes together. Must be, I must be doing something wrong here. I think it, I had to flip it. Flip it the other way. Like this. That's it. Yeah. Oh no, now you've done it. Now uh, he's gone and done it, folks. That's it. Okay. So, we're gonna mix up another little batch here. This is kind of a, it's kind of a messy job to, to do. But it's enjoyable. For when you work with concrete. Put the glasses on here. Look at this, nice. You got your mixer ready? Here you go. You did a good job mixing last time. Let's see you do it again. All right. More water, please. Think so? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, there you go. All of it. And we're going to need some of this. You want to have that? I'm going to fill this Let's up Let's not get too crazy. No, here, no. Right? You need a whole You need a whole. All, you get so excited when it comes to this kind of stuff. Oh, my. No, no, no. That's yes. a whole wheelbarrow No, full. I'm telling you. Okay. You're going to need more. Okay.
Let me go ahead and more water, please. I put the rest of the uh, I put the rest of the con the bag of concrete in there, so it's going to be kind of. Now you put too much water. Look at this guy. Just let it sit for a minute. I guess it'll hurt me. Yeah, that's good. We'll pour it in on the next one here. All right. So now you can see how this pattern goes together and you can keep making these things. So we've actually been out of, out of uh, one bag of concrete, we've been able to make three molds, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and pour that one on in there. Well, that's actually really good math to know because, yeah. And you need to, you know how, how many- Three out of one bag. It's now, a, I wonder. It's, it's a heck of a lot cheaper than yeah. doing by buying the the, the, the and we went themselves. all the full thickness you could probably go half thick if you want you could uh, but then you you might have and you're risking like breaking stuff and, yeah and, and uneven stuff uneven. but yeah all right now this one's a little soupier than the last one but i think we'll make it work josh i think so that uh cardboard will help soak it up a bit you, you might actually this is probably what you want it to, 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 to be at this uh I think you want it a little bit runnier. It'll go in like easy. It goes in yeah, easy. Yeah, it goes right? in nice and easy. And then it sets up to basically the same. Yeah. Well, you'll have a little bit more runouts. Yeah. I have to wait a little longer on this one, but that's the idea. Is that in that corner? You need a little bit more? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got them. Oh, nice. A little bit in this corner too, if you can. Yeah. Yeah. So this one was a little soupier. So now you can see the, uh, that that consistency is important. Uh, what you're doing. Nice. Now I'm gonna put this over here because I want that weight to stay down. That's good. That's holding. That's great. You couldn't ask for an easier job. Yeah, that uh, I mean, I, that's how I would do mine. Right there, a little bit, maybe just a touch firmer, but not as firm yeah. as we made these ones. This one actually did really well because it went in real easy. Um, but and this one's a little soupier. You might you might end up with a bit more waste. This I wouldn't do too much of that yet, there, but I'd probably just let it sit. Uh, that's that's what makes the difference between you and I. I know. There's a lot of things that make a difference. So look, so far what we've done was we've, we've, we've showed you the, that this is the fast setting uh, concrete mix. This one we did just previous to the, prior to the show. Uh, it's already rock hard. This one here we did in front of you guys and I can pick these pieces up now. Even though they're not set yet, I can pick them up and handle them. So it's fast setting like that. Um, and then we just poured this one here and we, we made it even liquidier. Liquidier. Liquidity. Liquidity. And that way we can, you know, so you can see how quickly and easily it'll flow in. And, um, you know, there's that whole lot of other option too, depending on what thickness you want to have it. We use a little rubber mallet. This one here is from Powerbuilt. Just a simple mallet, just to kind of vibrate everything, make sure it's settled in nice and nice and even. Oh, you want me to leave that on there, didn't you? Yeah, well, it's just for the, that way, so, the, so the, because of all that water's coming through here. Yeah. You know? But this, this is the kind of, this is the kind of uh, a project you can do it at home. You can improve your, your contracts that you have for clients. Oh do yeah. A nicer job for them, landscaper artists and stuff like and that. There's all sorts of designs. This is just one of the many designs. Yeah, maybe show them some on more Amazon. designs there, Josh, in that paper. Came Take off my glove here. Yeah, you don't need your glove anymore. Show you where's that paper now? Deal with it. Now, always remember your safety equipment. Man, and I both have steel toes, not that that really does anything here, but we're using Iron Age steel toe boots. These are the different designs from this specific company. Um, back it up. You got to back up a bit. The the uh, Model A, and look at it. They got all sorts of all the way up to Model Z. So all sorts of really cool things that you can use, and yeah. it makes your property that much nicer. Makes it a, a prettier uh, place to to be around. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, we had, we set this all up here in our in our studio to try to make a you know do something like this. Out of. You get your backyard. You don't have to worry about the mess a little bit. It's a lot. Just hose it away. Wear yeah. Wear your uh, don't wear your good clothes. Yeah. And uh, don't be afraid to get dirty. I'll tell, you. I'll tell you something else. What made this job nice is the gloves. Yeah. These are the uh, the GRX gloves. Yeah. And uh, they're fantastic. I mean, I'm not sure if they're available for you right now to purchase uh, there on, on on Amazon, but you can definitely find them uh, out there. Uh, really great gloves. Um, available. Uh, available. These are actually the cut series. These ones here, so that you don't cut yourself. And they got those that rubber bottom, which is why I wanted to use them. Right. Yours are just a, the basic utility ones that they have. But these are really good because they didn't. That's the worst part about working with concrete is if you don't wear gloves, your your hands get uh, you get a chemical burn. You get chemical burn. You get your fingers yeah. get worn out. And you don't want that. Trust me. I've had it, thinking I'm just too tough to wear gloves, and you don't want that. I've also worked in shorts before. Big mistake. Another big mistake because it, it splashes on your legs and you get chemical burns on your legs. He's got sensitive skin, folks. Let him be. Yeah, like you don't want to be messing around. I was really impressed with uh, this DeWalt 20-volt uh, drill uh, the because when I had it up on the higher setting, a 2 or 3, it, it wouldn't mix. It started to mix and then it was too much torque for it. It doesn't want to spin and hurt your hand. It's got that sa safety clutch inside. So uh, I had to always bring it down. I had to bring it down to the number one setting and then it was able to nicely mix. And even then, once you get to a certain point, if it's too thick, it'll, it'll, it'll uh, stop and won't kick out and you have to start it up again. But it won't twist out of your hand and throw yeah. you, throw you, or throw your bucket and all that stuff. So you can get all this stuff, and you can get the cement uh, cement mixer, right, uh, from from Sacred or any other company uh, here on Amazon. Uh, yeah. But a really cool little project that you can do in in one day. Yeah. Well, we showed you in just what half an hour. We showed you um, how to, how to make these molds and how to, how to how to pop these out like that. It's a simple simple process. Mix your bag of concrete in a bucket or in a, in a wheelbarrow, shovel it into these molds, pull them out, and then set it in place. It's really simple. You use fast simple. setting cr concrete, and then they're ready to go. So you could be making them, and then within an hour, you're placing them. You're putting them, in, you're putting them down. You're putting them, you know, or as fast as you're making them. Look, these ones are ready already. Yeah, and then again, so, so Matt, Matt's way of doing it would be, he would, uh, and then you can space it out exactly how you want. But if you're happy with just this grip, do it right on the floor. Pour yeah. it right there, and, and then they're already in place, like they like they're saying here. Yeah, so. you could you could put it down on the ground and put it right in place, and, and pour each individually, pull it out, and clean it off, and move to the next one. You can do that as well. Uh, but but they are made so that you can individually place them however you want, make whatever patterns you want. Uh, really great system. All right, I just want to see how this is here. That should be good. It's fast setting stuff, so. Why don't you go ahead and grab your end of that, Josh, and let's start pulling that out. And that one's done. And I, if you remember, that one was quite soupy. Um, it still is. Well, the top, the top, the top is right, yeah. and so um, you want to aim for consistency with the looks of the bricks. So just have a technique. That's what Matt's doing here. He's uh, making, softening the edges a bit. Although I kind of like that look, to be honest. Yeah, that one looks pretty good, the way that turned out. But like, uh, you know, the, the roughness and the stuff that you see on top? Yeah. Maybe it's a little rough to walk on, but... But it all depends. If you want, like, a cobblestone type... Yeah, I think that that might be the, the way to go in the end. Yeah. This one has a lot of cream on the top because we made... I call it cream. Um, it's the... comes to the surface of concrete. Uh, it's a very fine... the fine parts of the concrete. Uh, and, and it has that because there was a lot more water in the mix. Right. If you don't have as much water, it'll be drier like this look right here. So I'm just kind of shaping it up. And I'm, I'm spending extra time that you don't need to really be spending on it if you don't want to be all particular about it. You know, we're just trying to make this a little... Put my glove back on. Make this a little nicer this. here. Always wash your tools so that they're nice and clean and ready for the next time. And now we've got a consistent look to this, uh, to this system here. And as you can see, I closed it up right here, right? Open her up again, just like that. Make sure all the way to the bottom they're going to be spaced. Because that's, I mean, because I'm going to be moving them. You know, if they're just going to be sitting on the ground like that, well, then you got your space. But if you want grass and stuff to grow up in between, and then you're going to be making this part of a look, like if you're going to separate them a bit more, 
and have you know have dirt and sand in between so the grass grows up and it's like a like a cobblestone type nice look or if you want to grout that that's another thing you could do you, Which, could, you yeah. can put these like this then you can grout it with a different color of uh, concrete grout you can you can mix in between or just sand like a pneumatic sand you can put that in there as well and pack it all down yeah very nice very nice and uh, a, a, a really good option uh, for instead of just doing instead of just buying papers there you go you missed a line here a couple of lines here. Oh, did I oh yeah look at it. Right. that's it so we hope you guys learned something a little different a little new here <coughs> on uh, what tools inside a little bit of a DIY you guys can do it you can get everything you need here on Amazon live yep on amazon.com uh, put them in your cart that you see underneath pick the form that you like there's several that you can choose from put it in your cart and start the project this weekend that's right. Uh, now that you're uh, you're kind of stuck home, may as well do something do like some this. some stuff around the house. Have a look at that, guys. You can do it yourself. Thanks for joining us here on What Tools Inside. If you haven't already, make sure you have, uh, you click the follow button here below so that you're alerted to things that we're talking about because we're always unveiling or doing, doing an, a, a box, boxing, open, yeah. box and opening or something. And not to mention our giveaways. Yeah, through uh, our app. Through our app. Make sure you download the What Tools Inside app. That'll always alert you when we're doing a live. And it'll also give you an opportunity to win uh, cool new uh, products.